We begin the lesson number eight, the page bet two, the left column, Hasulam, the line ten. He told us at the end of the last lesson a very important uh, feature of the nukva that she has that she has two states a small state katnut and a great sta- state uh, Godlut. But even so, when she comes into the Godlut, all the all her previous um, sporn, uh, all her previous um, screens that she built up in her youth, in her katnut, stay the state of katnut, are still uh, intact, how do you call it, are still alive in here. Uh, and she needs them All to build up here, uh, got loot, and also to be able to give from all these uh, positions of here from the got. Uh, Katnut, and there are different stages also in the Katnut, till the Gadlut, to give all this to others, to the lower uh, uh, spiritual levels. Who is, who is lower, who belongs to these levels? Uh, all uh, creatures that are um, situated in the worlds Briya, Yitzira, and Asiya. Who are them? Like angels, such powers in the spirituality, in the higher levels. Uh, that are necessary uh, for the good functioning, right functioning of the whole. And these angels are the external part of the worlds, Briya, Yetzira, and Asiya. And the inner parts of, the, of these worlds are the souls of the tzaddikim, of the righteous, right, righteous, of them who brings themselves in accordance with the laws of the universe. The name of them is Naran. This is the shortening abbreviation, abbreviation of Nefesh, Ruach, Neshama. Some of them are of the level of Nefesh. So they reaching the they reach the world Asiya. Some of them are of the level um, Ruach. They reach the world Yetzirah, and some of them are of the level 
Neshama, and they reach the Bria. To them, to all of them, all of them are receiving from this Malchut. And together with them also the clipboard, the shells, the all kinds of unclean powers as well, because of the principle, like the world is built up, ze leumad ze asa elokim, they say it, and this saying is, means one against the other, the creator created. So clean powers and unclean powers. Otherwise, we would not have a free choice to choose between good and evil. So, and in such a way, the Nukva, or the Malchut, or as he calls here, Shoshana, uh, or Knesset Israel, the gathering of Israel, could give to these lower levels uh, from here memory as it were. Because also she was a very small in the beginning. She had only one sphera above in absolute only Keter and step by step she builds her up out of the uh, all of them because under the absolute she has her lower nine spherot and in her Godlut, in the her state of Godlut, here uh, joins them to herself, and by that he's great. He's getting, uh, he gets her adult state, and she can give to all who are lower, lower under here, as it were, and they are all here, children. So she can give them out of the state of her, of her state of Katnud, where, so in the, as if, as mother does in this world, as a mother, any mother does the same with her children. She, she plays with a child. She plays with a daughter, with her daughter. Just uh, as he played when she was s- herself herself a daughter uh, a girl a young girl she remembers all these states of her of her being uh, small and she gives it out of these uh, memories and the, in all, uh, from all these memories she keeps uh, alive all the screens belonging to these to all these states and that's why what he that's what he says uh, uh, and that's why also the Knesset Israel has Din and Rachame has uh, these two states, Din, she has from here small uh, state, and Rachamim, the mercy, the severity she has from her childhood, as it were, and the mercy that she has from her grown-up uh, state. 
And this corresponds to two colors of the Shoshana ben Achochim, of the uh, lily, lily among the thorns. One color is red, these nine lower spherot of hair, and one is white, one that is above in the Atsimu. Um, the page number bet two, the left column, li the line ten, and the lesson is number eight. Veze sod hayam shasa shlomo haomed. Al Shnei eleven Asar Bakar point Vizesot and this is the secret when the Sohar says like this this expression and this is the secret it means this is also means also uh, this is the essence a sense. And this is the secret of Hayam, of the sea. Shasa Shlomo, that Shlomo, Shlomo means uh, the king Solomon. He made this a sea. I will explain it just, just right now. And remember his name. His right name is Shlomo. Shlomo means, comes from the word Shalom. And this is when you pronounce it Shlomo. And not in English. It has power. Because Shlomo means the king, that the peace is with him. And this you can read, see in this world, in this word, Shlomo. You can divide it in two, Shalom, and then Hey, Hashem. And we don't see the letter Vav, Vav, Shlomo. You see, only the point as it were, only the uh, a vowel, O, Shlomo, but it exists. So it means the king, the peace of, the, that the peace is with him. It's a very important thing. So, the Shlomo Vezes Sod, and this is the secret of the sea, of a sea that the king Shlomo made. How mad, which sea st stands al shnei asar bakar upon on the on twelve uh, bakar on twelve. How do you call it? Uh, not ku, ku, cow, but uh, steer on um, huh? on twelve bulls, bulls, yeah, bulls, huh? bulls on twelve bulls. So a manly and and how do you call it and and masculine cows bulls okay what does it mean look at this uh, the king Solomon 
the King Shlomo. I'll call him like we like the holy language calls him. The King Shlomo, the son of the King David. He built it up the temple. The first the first the first temple. And he built it, it up, of course, as a, a picture, how do you call it? He saw the picture, he knew how to build it. It was a material, material uh, how do you call it? Huh? Fission of, of the spiritual uh, structure of the nukwa. So the temple is actually the the malchut, the Knesset Israel. Here on earth, because everything must have uh, uh, the same how do you call it, the similarity as above in the, the world at Silud between the Yanpin and Nukwa. So here on earth and look uh, how he built it. He placed uh, above the surface above the surface of this um, temple next to it he built it up a kind of a sea it means not a sea not a sea a real sea but a kind of water reservoir and basin how do you call it a water pool, a kind of a water pool. And uh, under the fundament it stood as it were on the fundament the fundament of it was he built it up as uh, it stood as it were on the shoulders of Twelve bulls, bulls. What does it mean? Because Shlomo knew the structure of the of the Zeranpin and Nukva, and this should be a the temple should uh, had to be become, as it were, a place a Merkava to receive the king, to receive the creator, and to receive the Shekhinah, of course, first the Shekhinah, Shekhinah, and then the creator, Hashem, we call it the name. It means that if you do it properly, then the Shekhinah, the godly presence, will come down. It means Nothing comes down and nothing rises up, but the in this place they would uh, make themselves receptive, open themselves in the right way through the service of the priests and the songs of the Levites and the presence surrounding of the Israel of the third part of the nation of the God godly nation and in such a way they would experience the appearance of the Shina of this Malhud that would come settle here in this place 
And in the Shkina would be also the presence of the uh, Akadosh Baruhu, of the Holy One, blessed be He. And so Shlomo knew how to make it. And so he built it up in this, in, in this way. We will see further what does it mean. 11. After the point. Ki eilu tet hasfirot atachtonot shela shenaflu tvalv lebriya Kanal nitaknu sham basod shnei asar thirteen bakar unikudad haketer shnish ara batsilut hu sod fourteen hayam haomeder Алейхем мили мала. В ухлалу там я хаде фифтин. Никра тлисар алин дешошана. Пойнт. Илевен. Ки эйлу тет хасфирот ба бекос... These nine sfirot hatachtanot, these nine lower sfirot of he shila shenaflu twelve libriya, which f- felt in libriya canal as said above. Nitaknusham Basot Shneya Sarbakar were installed over there in the secret of twelve twelve uh, bulls Unikudata Keter and the point of the keter, so this sphera keter, he, co- he calls it the point of the keter. Shanisha Rabba at Silud that remained it, remained, remained it in the at Silud. Who sought Hayam? This is a secret of, of Hayam, the sea. It means this is in a sense, in essence, no, in a sense, in a essence, this is uh, the sea. So it means the sea. How medalehe milabala that stands above them, from above, uchlalutam yachat, and uh, they all together fifteen Nikrat Lisar Alin Deshoshana is called Tlisar Alin thirteen leaves of the Shoshana of the lily point fifteen. But we, honestly, if we just count them, we see only ten, yes? How he says that, that, that they are twelve beneath and one above. Thirteen point fifteen. Vinyan Rahit Rahit Chalkut sixteen Hazo. Shell Eser has 
шила лесот юд гимель юд гимел мидбаер легалан севентин бемар от асулам поэт фифтин after the point винян а хит халкут азу and the, the question of the of this dividing of the ten sfirot of her lesod yud gimel for in in the secret and you know what it means now then i will trans, i will uh, translate it just like in this secret and you know that it is in this in a sense uh, in this in the secret of 13 so why they are the the matter the explanation why they are divided in uh, these 10 10 10 1 10 spherot, that they are uh, that they are 13 how it comes mid by early halal is explained uh, lower later we can say bimar ota sulam in the commentary in sub commentary mar ota sulam the vision of hasulam and it comes within a couple of uh, pages I think two pages uh, furthermore Three pages, furthermore, yes, three pages, furthermore, on the page five, we will, he will explain it very thorough, thorough. And this in the, in his additional uh, commentary that is named Mar'od Asulam, the vision of Asulam, he has several of them not not many just maybe in five five places maybe six places in the whole Zohar where he explains some features very thorough in a special way uh, and then we there over there we he will explain us to us what does it mean that Ten becomes thirteen. Eighteen. The line eighteen. Vehine. Amohin de Gadlut. So he gave us something, something new. He gave us the he com, the comparison with, of this nukva with the temple, and in the temple the this sea where the sea that stood on on the these twelve twelve uh, boats, and this is another. Uh, exp- uh, another, as it were, another build, another view of the thirteen leaves of the Shoshana. So he spoke of thirteen, the number of thirteen, thirteen leaves of the Shoshana, yeah, of the uh, Lily, and then he spoke about Knesset Israel, the gathering of Israel, and that means the Nukwa in here, grown up state, when she in the Gadlut, that she has uh, thirteen. Uh, she is surrounded by thirteen uh, attributes of mercy, mercy, 
And now he gave us the third, just here, he gave us the third, uh, a third uh, comparison uh, or effect of uh, uh, the sea that stands, stands upon uh, the twelve bulls. And that he will explain this uh, number, 13, he will explain a bit later. 18. We Hamochin de Gadlut Shel Hanukva. Sheyesh 19 Bahem Meharata Hochma Hem Nim Shahim Misod Yud Gimel 20 Hashimot Hanikraim Yud Gimel Midot Harachamim Point Vehine and Behold Habochin de Gadlut The lights in the Gadlut he uses the words the word Mohin, Hamohin. I will explain it just later. The Mohin of Gadlut, the light what come, that comes from the Rosh of the Partsuf, from the head, as it were, from the first three spherots, are called Mohin. It's plural of Moach is singular. So he says, Wehnei ha-mochin de gadlut shalanukva, and behold, the mochin of gadlut, the, so try to remember this word, the mochin, the lights of gadlut, of the nukva, and the lights of Gadlut can only come, it's my, my uh, short commentary, that the lights of Gadlut can come only, only when, when, when there are only, when there are available the Kilim that could uh, receive these lights. The lights are always there. The light is always there. The question is to get the suitable uh, kilim. Kilim that could be able to receive, to experience the lights. So now he says, we nay and behold, the Malchu, uh, the Mohin, the, the Mohin for, of Godlut, the Mohin, the Mohin of this Godlut, of this state of Godlut of Nukva, of here, full state of ten spherot. Shuyesh nineteen Bahem Meharat Hachma that have within the illumination of Chochma Hem Nimshachim Misot Yud Gimel Hashimot they uh, are drawn down no, it's good They are pulled down uh, in the secret 
then you know that means in essence uh, by Yud Gimel Hashimot of, of 13 names 20 Hanikraim Yud Gimel Midot Rachamim that are called 13 attributes of mercy. This is a great revelation and this is a very special thing what we will learn about these 13 uh, attributes of mercy. How they come, from where they come, and for all the creation and for every single person here is the matter of his bringing himself in conformity to experience these 13 attributes of mercy. That surround a person, that means in a such a way that uh, the external powers, the clipot, the unclean powers, in such a state are not able to suck uh, themselves to the kilim of this person because there is no shortage there, are no, there is no leakage in this state 20 after the point with the shomer of 21 uh, Knesset Yisrael, this is a, a, an abbreviation, two letters, you see, K, uh, Kaf, and then Yud, Knesset Yisrael, with the Shomer of 21 Knesset Yisrael, it ba Yud Gimel Mechilan Derachami point twenty after the point Vezer Shomer and that's what he said what he says the Zor of twenty one Knesset Israel. So Knesset Israel it ba there is in him in him I, I try to translate it literally in order that we will experience step by step the the structure of the holy language the sentences etc. also also Knesset Israel has in it Yud Gimel Mechil and Rachami, thirteen uh, forgive, forgiveness, 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 or forgivings of mercy, mercy. Point. The word, the word mechilan, forgiveness, for, forgivenings, is very special. What for, what for forgiven, forgiveness? It is. It's very special because when when forgiveness means literally something is forgiven to someone for some when 
some make a tikkun when someone makes something correction of a situation. When he has sorrow, or how would you call it, uh, about this, huh? Sorrows about about the situation, and when he recognizes that he did something wrong, and in this case, wrong is the situations when there is a dean. Only a dean or a dean uh, prevails above the Rahamim. And the Rahamim, the mercy, this is the way how the creation is to be function is to be functioned through the middle line. We will learn it, the left line, the right line, and the middle line. And when and when a person makes this uh, collision between all, all three, and this is for this, one must make inner uh, movements. And inner movements means actions, real actions, not just from outside with hands and feet. Then one experience, experiences a uh, rachamim. And this is the real life when one feels within himself uh, the love of Hashem, of the Creator the eternal life. And this is given to every human being here on earth. And this is what we learn in Zohar. And this, is, this will be a result of learning Zohar. Uh, 21 Vahikar 22 Ma Shiba Rabi Hiskia Lehorot Bahashwa A Hazo 23 Mishoshana De Ben Ahohim Lechneset Israel U twenty four Lilam Denu Shekol Shiesh Lenukva Pamatsav Gadluta twenty five Tsarich Lehimatse Ba Knegdan Bechinat Hachana here I see a small of a small how do you call it mistake. So the f fourth word before the end of the line twenty five the middle the middle the middle letter is hey and this you must this letter the left uh, stock as it were you must uh, uh, you must make from this letter Chet, the letter, the letter Chet, the eighth letter of the alphabet. Okay. Um, and, and, and this is this is the very common abbreviation in the Zohar. And other books of Ari as it well as, as, uh, as well of Bhina, the aspect, the level some level aspect, different phase, 
סטייג' כנגד בחינת הכנה והכשר עוד 26 בתחילת הווייתה דהיינו במצב הקטנות. פוינט. והעיקר, מה שבא רבי שיב, רבי חיסקיה, והעיקר, and the essence, מה שבא רבי 22, that what, why for, רבי חיסקיה came, להורות, to learn, בהשוואה זו, this comparison, משושנה דבין החוכים בטווין דה שושנה בטווין דה שושנה דה לילי דבין החוכים among the thorns and the כנסת ישראל and the gathering of Israel who is 24 ללמדנו to learn, to teach us, שכל שיש לנו כבר, very important now what we want to say, שכל שיש לנו כבר במצב גדלותה, that everything that נוקווה has in her state of, in her grown up state, in her great state, you can say, 25, צריך להימצא בה Uh, is necessary to be found in her כנגדן בחינת הכנה the aspect of preparation והכשר and make herself suitable עוד already 26b uh, בתחילת ההבטה already from the word wording of her of her becoming uh, uh, in her becoming the stage of her becoming uh, and receiving the structure the Hainu Bamatsava Katnut that means that that's uh, in from the uh, State of the cut note. You see what he says. It's very, very important. I already a little bit uh, explained this at the beginning of this lesson. That everything what she has now in the cut note, she has, uh, she has it out of all the preparations uh, and making herself suitable for this great state uh, already from the time when she was in the uh, state of cut note. When she was small, 26. And in the same way works it also uh, in us. Step by step, by studying the Zohar, the Zohar will explain many things, as it were, the same subjects, because it's the same, as it were, the same structure of the tree of life. And sometimes Zohar explains it from this point of view, sometimes from that, because we have enormous, we have... Uh, huge amount of amounts of um, spiritual levels and all of them must be uh, worked out by the light and that's why it takes uh, so many pages actually the Zohar itself the Zohar the text 
of the, the basic text of the Zohar is not so uh, tell, uh, counts not so many pages but with all these explanations see with Hasulam and this it makes uh, an impressive uh, book it counts about in this in this size what we have counts about maybe 8,000 pages, maybe 7,500, 7, about, approximately. And it's all necessary for us. But even if we would uh, learn only one this first book, this is the basics and the most important book because it gives all the, as it were, the finite structure of the tree of life. This will be a, a tremendous of tremendous uh, importance for us. We don't need to go all through all of these of these twenty one books volumes of the Zohar. We will go as long as it will be given to us. But one book, this first one book, is our prime goal. And this will be enough to structure us properly and to give us this, all this uh, uh, conformity that is necessary to experience the 13 Yud Gimel Midot De Rachamim, 13 attributes of mercy. That these 13 attributes of mercy, then they uh, are result of our working out of our kilim for making from them a, a state of Gadlut. Uh, Twenty six after the point. וזה שאומר, 27, שכנגד חבר וסומק דקטנות יוצא בה דין 28 ורחמי וגדלות וכנגד יוד גימיל אלין דקטנות יוצא 29 בי"ג מידות הרחמים בגדלות. Very important what he says. Uh, וזה שאומר 26 after the point. And this is what he says. The Zohar. 27. שכנגד חבר וסומק, that uh, in connection to the the opposite or how do you call it uh, the opposite of uh, of in comparison, we can say, the, in co comparing what is in the small state of the Nukva that he said, Chavar Vesomek, against, literally it is Sheik Neget Chavar, against the uh, white and red Dekatnut, 
of the time of the katnut. You remember that in the katnut she has the nukva, she had the the shoshana, the lily, had in the had in her uh, katnut, in the state of katnut, she had uh, white and red. Yes, uh, one one was above, one sphera kether was uh, uh, white because she stood in the atzilut, and nine lower spherot were uh, were how do you call it? Were down in the in the bria. So this was the state of Katnut. So he, she had two of them, the Shoshana. So he said to us, against, he makes a parallel. He, he uh, says that against the white and, huh? The opposite, okay. That, that opposite, opposite, the opposite, the opposite, the white, and red of the katnut of the shoshana yatsa ba'din v'rachami v'rachamei begadlut came out in here or appeared in here din v'rachamei begadlut the severity din 28 v'rachamei and the mercy in the gadlut you see, the same, these two uh, qualities she, she received in the Godlood, and not that we, how we would expect, we would expect uh, with our earthly mind and imaginations that in the Godlood, in the great uh, state, he should, or she should, uh, be only white, only light. No, this is this is not in, uh, a case in in the spirituality. This is a kind of wishful thinking in our world. That we think that that we think that that we have such imaginations, the imagination that someone who is a, 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 a saint, yeah. A saint, a saint or pious person, that he must be white, you know, like an angel. It's not like this, hey, what we see, that one must have in itself both of them, Din and Rachamim, in the great state, like this Shoshana white and red, so she had, uh, they, they came out of her, Din and Rachamei, Rachamei, in the Gadlut, in the Gadlut, she received these two, the severity, the Din and Rachamei, the mercy. Uchneget Yud Gimel Alin de Katnut and an opposite of the thirteen leaves of the katnut, Yotzeba came out in here, twenty-nine, Yud Gimel Midot, the Rachamim Bagadlut, thirteen uh, attributes of mercy in the Gadlut. Point twenty nine after the point. Vehu me vi thirty zot can big day lilam day nu ech hak tu vim shileva shilefa nainu thirty one. Mivarim otam bet ha sedarim de katnut vigadlut. 
הנוהגים באצילות הנוקבה, כמו שממשיך צאת עשרי והולך. אוף אלוקים דהוכו וכולי. פואט. והוא מביא את הי, הוא הי, this רבי, רבי חיסקי. The, the, author, the author of this, of this uh, Zohar, of this Ot, he says that we who and he, this Rabbi Hiskia, who is speaking, may we thirty Zot can uh, cites here or brings here this in order to teach us how the um, how the writings that before us that we that we that we will need that we will start that we will learn before us later or next Thirty-one. Explain these two orders of katnut and gadlut. Thirty-two. Hanohagim ba'atsilut anukva that uh, takes that take place. Uh, with the uh, emanation of the nukva, in the emanation of the nukva, as he continues, goes on, continues uh, to explain what he says, 33, of Elohim de Hoche, so as he says in the next uh, line 34 he says of Elohim the Hoho so is the name Elohim that uh, is here and we will end that we will see further so he explains us the Hasulam uh, what does it mean what we are doing now what, where we are busy with in this, on this page, and further, then if we, if we know what we are doing, that it concerns the building up the two ways, or the two stages of the building up of the nukla, then it gives us strength and some understanding of what we are doing now that this and this helps us some questions uh, Miriam okay yeah yes we must also learn here in, with, even within uh, in the beginning in, even in these several lessons that we had we must also learn the culture of the uh, approach the right approach of the learning of spirituality I spoke about this already a lot, but not to try to only to want to understand it uh, by your head. The desire must be, of course, uh, present. The desire to be over there, to to learn them about them, about this, about this family, 
about their relationships. Uh, but not, but be patient. And this is very difficult, can, could be very difficult. So, oh, um, master, master yourself, master your, your wish to understand uh, just by your by the first time that you are hearing some something and if if you don't understand then you just find a, a person normally in our in our world if he doesn't understand something uh, it's if he experiences this as something that even annoying him that annoys him even like this, or boring, at least, that it bore, bores him, boring. No, try to be all the lesson awakened, uh, responsive to whatever you hear. And this, only this will give more than any other uh, attitude. And place oh, always place what you hear what you hear uh, in this sphere to uh, correlate all these terms of the Zohar with the sphere, with the partsufi, with the world. If you are able to do so, if not, not. Okay, try to do it. Where what is what what is going what is going here about? Try also always to see what's going here about. Okay, they are speaking here about uh, about the sea, about uh, the twelve bulls. You see all kinds of these comparisons. It's not only just comparisons uh, in order to give a symbolic yeah, symbolic uh, explanation of, of like this but it all gives us additional feelings for for the for a uh, term in question so how many different uh, metaphorical as it were we can say maybe meta metaphorical uh, uh, pictures we see in Zohar about this uh, lily. We will we will get a, a lot of different approaches uh, about this lily because actually it is the love story between the. Nukva between between the small hood and the Ziran pin. It, actually, it is here longing to be with him, like Bina, Chokma and Bina, the upper two Sfirot, are still in love with each other, understanding on the same level. They need each other, and this in the same way they are completely independent of each other. Everyone has everyone has its its own tense firot. But Nukva of or Malhut and the Zeran Pin, the fourth and the, th the fifth sphera, or Partsufim, or it doesn't matter in uh, the or the, the level where they are. They are not like this. Sometimes they are together uh, and sometimes they are separated. And this matter of to be 
separated and or to be united with each other uh, depends on the souls, depends on us. Any time when we make efforts and awaken ourselves for the nukva, for the uh, for the this lily, as it were, for the malchut, we bring up to hear our to hear our man, as we as we learn. Our tefillah, our, uh, how do you call it, prayer, prayer, you see, and this comes above in the same way as it was on the altar, altar in the temple, when you put, when they put uh, some offerings, and in a special way, and it should come up as a nice smelling for Hashem. For whom? For Hashem. Hashem for the Creator, for the Zeir Anpin. You see? And from whom it came? From here, from the temple, from the place where the Shechina uh, uh, must be awakened by the deeds of Israel, of them who who make themselves uh, responsive for that, for her, because she is the mother of Israel. This malchut it means for everyone, everything is in one person. What we are studying, but one may make a person must uh, actually come to his uh, part of his inner uh, that that call that has the name Israel. I don't know whether I already explained this. We have, as, we, as you know, we have two parts. After the, as a product, as of the second symptom of the second, um, how do you call it, uh, the parking, uh, Restriction. Everything is divided in two parts, upper part and lower part. The upper part in every person is called Yisrael, because these are the kilim of giving. Uh, they are higher than the lower kilim in the lower second part and these are called uh, kilim de kabbalah the kilim that are that are they, they, that want to receive the light of chokhmah and they are the name of them I mean uh, metaphorical name of them is not only metaphorical but I just say is uh, the nations of the world and there are 70 prime nations of the world. We have more, much more naturally in the United Nations, of course. But uh, there are only 70 that has their that have their roots in the spirit, spiritual spiritual roots as established nations uh, 
And there are 70 y 70 7 spherot from Hesed Gura Tiferet, that's a Hod Yesod and Malchut, 7. And everyone has 10, so we have 70 nations. So every person has in, in himself this structure. And in such a way, um, this is the love story. All the Torah and all the Zohar is the love story between the Mahud and the Yiranpin. And they are the father and the mother of our soul. That's why, and only, and she can unite herself with him only when the, when Israel here on earth, Israel of flesh and blood, and Israel who are lonely, who are, who uh, are striving for this unity with uh, the higher worlds, with the laws of the universe. That only due to our efforts, she, the Mahud, uh, can rise up, as it were, to the Zeran Pin with all these, uh, with all our um, requests, and our requests make her, give her beauty, as it were, give her color, give her all kinds of brilliance, as it were, make her, make her, make her uh, wanted by the Yiranpin. And then he came with him in unity, and only out of this unity between them, Zivug, we call it copulation, as it were, with, with, between them, they received the light uh, and they bring this light down, down to the lower, to these uh, souls that asked for this, asked for the feeling. So it's the the question is the matter of. Uh, the life is the matter of this interaction between the lower world and the high world, and not only to live in this world, to living in this world only with all the senses, only in this world, means that a person just uh, turns his back to his own uh, Fulfilling, fulfillment to all the goods, to all the to all to all to all the good that uh, he doesn't experience, doesn't feel it, but all by only living this life here. And if you keep just this in mind what the Zohar is speaking about, and even the Zohar speaks about other units, higher world, Arichan, Pin, Abu Ima, everything else are all uh, destined and built, is built up uh, to provide all the facilities to enable this Nukva, this Malhut, 
The Malchut means kingship, kingship. Yes, and kingship. And we are in in this kingship. We are a product of this kingship. So, huh? Kingship. In order to live in this kingship. And all of them are, pro- provides all the facilities for this, uh, for this, uh, Malchut to keep here with the Zeran people. And, in the, on the contrary, all the matters, all the history, all the situations of troubles, of uh, catastrophe, catastrophes, of destruction, misery, comes from the shortage or uh, sin, sinning, sins of us, of the generations that didn't bring themselves into this, into conformity with the laws of the universe. It means the laws of the universe, the 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 world or lam is. Zairanpin and Nukva. Actually, the Nukva, the Malhut, is Olam. This is the world. And the and we are a part of it because all the mankind is situated as it were here on earth. Is this is the most? This is the uh, what do you call it? The the most uh, roughest, the the lowest part of all the the of all the roughest place of all the universe. But we are still part of it, or part of it. All the destructions, destruction of of the first first temple, the second temple, the all the wars. Everything is only a result of uh, this inability, or even. Uh, uh, of the human beings, of the human race, to follow the laws of the universe. Where we finished, we finished um, at the left on the, the, left, the left column, uh, the line 34. Yes. Gums it all. Okay. Yeah. Only one thing is very good, nice, what Miriam says to me that remembers me that we must uh, develop in ourselves the attitude that is just covered by one expression, uh, expression of a great saint, a great uh, Chacham. That Gam Zetov, he said, Gam Zetov. The name, his name was, his nickname was Gamzetov. It means also this is good. Because everything, everything what he saw, and he lived in the time when Romans were in 
the country of Judea. And it was terrible at that time how they treated the, uh, the Jews. But not only the Jews, but especially here at that time. And everything what he saw, and everything what he saw, and everything what he, what it was happened, he always rectified the Creator. It means rectifying the laws of the universe. How can I rectify them? How can we rectify them? Okay, look at the, what is happening. Look how they treat here in the Middle East. What's happening over there? The children are dying. Look at Africa. Africa. Look somewhere else. Look in our own countries. What's happening? Sometimes are terrible uh, killings, murders. Uh, how can we rectify this? Justify. Yeah, justify probably even a stronger word for this. How can we do it? We are uh, a norm, normal people, not uh, just like angels. How can we do it? You must develop in yourself this attitude. You, I mean when I say you, I also mean myself and everyone else. I will say then that the recommendation of our uh, teachers, that even you don't have inner confirmation about this, you are not uh, agree with this statement that everything comes out of that also this is good. You must go above your sechel, above your uh, understanding, above your earthly mind that says you how terrible is this all? In such a way, you don't give uh, a penny to the Sitra Akhra, to the unclean power, because the unclean power wants you wants to catch with you. Uh, anyway, just uh, in every way, in any direction where you are looking to the left or to the right. But you must look before, straight before yourself. It means the middle line. It means not to look to the left. It means uh, not to look to the troubles and to attract yourself to the troubles. Because if you attract your, uh, you are fix, fixing yourself uh, for some uh, happenings that you uh, see and feel as terrible, then you give, you provide then the the food, how do you call it, the feeding, you feed then the Sitra Akhra, and it doesn't matter for the Sitra Akhra, for this unclean power, for the Satan, they call it, uh, how they get you, how they catch with you, whether from right or from the left, because from the left means that all the terrible things she uh, suggests to you to make your seeing the world in black, everything is bad, everything is terrible, like this. And neither try to uh, have inclination too much to the right yeah, to see 
to enjoy, to, how do you call it, to smile too much, too much, I mean, a little bit, now it's nice just to just, just to to have some small s- s- smile, but not just laugh, uh, eh? to chuckle, it's good, but not just to to do it in an excessive way. And to, uh, how do you call it, to give too much from yourself, from your heart, uh, uh, to the to the outer world, because also this is in such a way, in this case also the unclean power also sucks on you, and all kinds of sucking of our energies within us brings the separation between us and the Shoshana and the Malchut. And this separation means that she can't ask for us, she can't play for us uh, before the Yerampin to give us all the good that we need. So, keep this in mind and Remember this expression Gam ze tov and always say it in your heart and even whisper this and this is and it means also this is good. <laughs>